genital size and sexual compatibility. Many individuals are concerned with penis size and form, especially when it comes to sexual compatibility. However, there isn't a particular size that works for everyone and compatibility involves more than simply penile size. Sexual compatibility is an essential component for many sexual partners. Studies, however, indicate that penis size may not be the most crucial element in determining sexual satisfaction. A person with a small vagina might not favor a partner who has a huge penis in a heterosexual relationship. Large size may also be a barrier in relationships where anal intercourse is practiced. Regardless of the size or shape of either partner, people should freely discuss their sexual demands and agree on how to satisfy them. What is the average penis size? Many studies have attempted to quantify the average penis size. A 1996 study involving 80 males found that the average flax of penis was 8.8 cm or 3.46 inches unstretched, and the average erect penis was 12.9 cm or 5.08 inches. On this basis the study's authors concluded that surgery to expand the penis should only be an option for males with an erect penis length of less than 7.5 cm or 2.95 inches. A 2014 review used data from 20 previous studies that included 15,521 males. That and now is found an average flaxid penis length of 9.16 cm or 3.61 inches and an average erect length of 13.12 cm or 5.17 inches. In a 2014 study of 1,661 males, the researchers concluded that the average penis length is 14.15 cm or 5.57 inches and the average penis girth is 12.23 cm or 4.81 inches. Although this study relied on the participants' own measurements, the researchers deemed the results to be fairly consistent with prior research findings. However, a 2019 study found that self-reported measurements may be inconsistent with these averages. In this study males report ported an average penis length of 6.62 inches or 16.81 centimeters, which is significantly higher than measured averages. In the study, almost one-third of the participants reported having a penis size of 7 inches or 17.78 centimeters or more, with 10% reporting a figure of 8 inches or 20.32 centimeters or more, only 26.9% of the males reported a size less than 6 inches or 15.24 centimeters. Many males report experiencing anxiety in relation to their penis size. In a 2006 analysis, 45% said that they wanted a larger penis. The same analysis found an association between satisfaction with penis size and overall satisfaction with appearance. Is there such a thing as too small or too big? Size is subjective to the viewer. Various factors, including a person's personal sexual desires, the sort of sex they are having, cultural standards, and a host of others, influence their preferences for genital size. Research suggests that size is not the most important sexual factor for most people. A 2006 survey of 52,031 heterosexual males and females found that 84% of females were satisfied with their partner's penis size. Just 14% wanted their partner to have a larger penis and 2% wanted their partner's penis to be smaller. Penis size may sometimes affect certain factors, including Sexual anxiety and perceptions Actual size is not the only factor that matters. Each partner's perception of how large or small a penis should be may affect their enjoyment of the experience. For example, a person may feel anxious about a perceived small penis, even if their penis is average in size. Sexual pleasure The length and girth of a person's penis may affect their ability to stimulate their partner. For example, a person with a short but wide penis may be able to provide significant stimulation of areas just inside of a partner's anus or vagina but be unable to reach deeper regions. Sexual comfort. If a penis is too large for the partner, penetration may be painful, particularly without adequate lubrication. If there are significant size disparities, anal intercourse may be extremely painful or even impossible. Genital compatibility. Like penises, vaginas come in a variety of sizes and shapes. As a result, those who have vagina may worry about what other people regard as normal. The vagina is an internal muscle that alters form depending on a person's stage of the menstrual cycle, whether they are pregnant in other circumstances. As a result variances among vaginas are more difficult to detect. The vagina is narrower in some persons than others. Additionally, 
a shallow vagina may have a cervix that is closer to the opening, preventing deep entry. While this could be effective for someone with a tiny penis, it may be unpleasant or impossible for someone with a larger penis to fully penetrate. The myth that older age or frequent intercourse causes vaginal enlargement is incorrect. The elastic muscles in the vagina can stretch out and then snap back into place. However, pelvic muscle injury may alter how sexual activity feels. By weakening the pelvic floor muscles after delivery or surgery, the vagina may feel either looser or tighter and intercourse may be painful. Kegel exercises and other pelvic floor physical therapy can help a person retrain their pelvic floor and get rid of pelvic support issues. However, substantial anatomical incompatibilities cannot be resolved by these workouts. Anal sex can be impacted by anatomical differences as well. The anus is a muscle, much like the vagina. A person may find it simpler to relax their muscles for penetration if they have already experienced anal intercourse, even if it normally does not extend greatly. If their partner has a huge penis, penetration may be more challenging for smaller persons since their anuses may be slightly smaller. While there might be incompatibilities, the size of the penis is rarely the most important aspect of sexual enjoyment. The majority of the time, incompatibility may be resolved when couples are upfront with one another and attentive to each other's sexual wants. Tips to improve compatibility. Partners can manage genital size and shape incompatibilities more effectively by using a variety of tactics. Communication that is direct and honest is crucial. A person who worries about the size of their penis can discover that their lover is really extremely pleased. Or, they can discover that their spouse is more interested in other forms of stimulation, such oral sex or clitoral orgasms. Some other tips to try include. Using more lubrication if sex feels uncomfortable. Spending more time on foreplay. Using pillows to elevate the partner's pelvis slightly, which may help if the penis is small or narrow because it allows deeper penetration and more stimulation. Experimenting with different sexual positions. Offering additional stimulation, for example, males with male partners may use their hands to stimulate their partner's penis, while those who have sex with females can offer clitoral stimulation. Incorporating oral sex into the session, which may provide more pleasurable stimulation. Nearly 88 of the women said they would rather date a good communicator than someone who's good in bed. Older women never like this size penis which is too thin. More than 95% of the women said love is more important than sex and 84% of men agreed. 92% of women said a small penis was not a deterrent for them. The vast majority of women don't care whether you're smuggling an anaconda or an inchworm. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.